it is morning. We're going to make some coffee. Get this day started. So for coffee, we got whatever's on sale. And we got a Stanley French press, which is freaking amazing. I love it. And an MSR pocket rocket uh, cooking set up here. This is my morning view. <sighs> well, we're at day three and it is just raining. Coming down. Last night was pretty uh, gnarly. It was super windy. And we were just getting hit from all directions with uh, rain and wind. So uh, we're going to move locations. Uh, I'm in Thorn Bay right now. And we're going to get ready to head out of here. Tomorrow we should get some nice weather. So I'm just going to post up, find a nice place to camp for the night. And stay out of the rain and try to stay out of the wind. And uh, maybe do a little walk around video and gear video to show you what we're working with here. All right, let's get out of here. this uh, next spot I seen that uh, this place is open I think they call it AK 49 now it used to be the bait box I think I don't know if it's under new ownership uh, they also have a shop in Kaufman Cove absolutely amazing food all right should be good let's go cruise up that mountain and have ourselves a snack a little mountain snack
we got into some squirrely areas back there probably shouldn't have gone to. Generally when it starts to grow over it's my sign to turn back. Old pig suffered some damage when we were turning around. She was already busted up as you can see but that part's new. So that sucks. I'll show you where we're at. Old Boggin Road. Can't really see anything from here. It's real clouded in, but good enough spot to eat my lunch, anyways. Okay, we're back at one of my uh, rainy day spots. I call it my rainy day spot because it's fairly protected where we're at here from the uh, wind and everything. We're going to post up for the night. I'm going to go ahead and use this awning here that I made. This is probably like a $10, $20 awning. It's hung a couple of hooks up there and these little Velcro doodads. And I have some posts and string and little stakes in there. I'll show it to you here in a second. Get her undone. And there you have it. Pig goes into stealth mode. So first thing you'll see when you enter my humble abode is got a five gallon jug of water. Got some extra wood. Got some chainsaw stuff here. Got some fire starter. Shit shovel. Got a grill. Here's my uh, backup camera slash security camera. This is magnetic. This is where my light goes. In the cabin itself, you'll notice we got some lovely paintings that my girlfriend painted. This is the Juno area. It's uh, Mendenhall Lake, Mendenhall River, Shelter Island, Admiralty. They got Prince of Wales Island right here. And we are... Shit, I think we're somewhere over here, up on one of these mountains, I think. This is uh, a mural that my old lady painted. It's of our favorite spot in Juno. It's actually the, it's based off of photos taken about 1.30 in the morning. Uh, probably about a month ago now. <clears throat> bright, bright moon. It's gorgeous. This is actually what you see from the beach of our camping spot. Picked up these... Uh, Lights have magnets and stuff on them. They're LED. You can charge them. You can pretty much put them anywhere. There's a screw. Picked up a couple of those for about 15 bucks. Picked that one up for about 20. Same thing. Magnetic. You can charge it. Hung up a bunch of buckles so I can hang some cups. Some Stanley shot glasses. Last in a bottle opener that my buddy made in college. My spork. Got a two burner stove that works just fine. I think I have a three or five pound tank on the outside. And this thing is hand pumped. It's kind of, it doesn't really work that great. It's actually leaking somewhere in here. I didn't know that until I filled it up with water. But it pumps. Got the Alaskan flag right there. And the Canadian flag commemorates old pig's maiden voyage. My girlfriend and I took it to, uh, Took the camper and Dooley when I first got it all set up when the truck was pretty much stocked besides a tune. Took it out to Canada on a road trip. And here it's got all my window coverings in case it gets too bright. Got some towels for the dogs, some leashes and stuff for the dogs. More dog blankets, wet bag. There's more towels and shit in there. Stay dry. I got the food bin up top. I used the, uh, uh, this bubble wrap insulation to make myself kind of a nice cool box in here. Get my dry foods, coffee, got some ramen, some bread and stuff back in there. Dog snacks. Here I got my uh, Milwaukee stereo. Got some loose shotgun rounds. Uh, 
I got my Milwaukee flashlight. Those are pretty cool. I'll show that to you sometime. I think that's all I got in here. I think I got my Sawzall in there, an extra battery, just in case. And keep that locked. I think this is just like the odds and ends. Yeah, koozies, nasal spray, some knives, knife sharpeners, just the junk drawer. This, I need to come up with something better covering or a covering or some way to hold all this stuff back because it gets sloshed around and falls out sometimes when I'm on, on these roads. Um, but that's where the suburban heater used to go and it was no longer pumping heat. Didn't know how to fix it, so I just ripped it out. I still have it. I can, I can figure out how to fix the element. Maybe I'll look that up and do that someday. But otherwise, I have my buddy heater in here and a bunch of fuel, some Coleman fuel and some fuel for my MSR. A couple of dry bags, keep it fresh. Down here, we got various types of shoes. We've got an ammo can with various types of ammo, some water. Now that thing is freaking amazing. This toilet right here cost me about $20. They don't say satisfaction guaranteed when they sell it to you, but they should. Extra cooler, chainsaw that my buddy let me borrow. Back in here are all my tools under my computer. I can bust that out and show you here in a minute. Uh, this is just like, the, this is the beverage cooler. As you can tell, I've been out for a while, so all the ice is melted. Got a few uh, select beverages in there. And some hot dogs. This is the electric cooler. Actually goes through my batteries pretty quick. I don't, or maybe I just don't drive long enough to charge them. Those are two six volt golf cart batteries hooked up in series so that they're 12 volt. It's barely got anything in it. I think I got some condiments and some spinach. I'll actually just unplug that right now. It's a marine 12 volt outlet. Got another 12 volt outlet up there. Back here I got some fishing tackle, some recovery gear. Got a bunch of ratchet straps. Got my um, air compressor inside the truck is where I have my tow chain and my jumper cables. A couple of dry logs made by Viking Lumber. Viking Lumber is a uh, little logging company here on the island and other parts of the southeast. And this is their sawdust byproduct that they just compress. I don't think they add any chemicals to it. They just compress it. And I'll tell you what, they burn hot. And if you got a bunch of wet wood, it's nice to have one of these just glowing in there, heating everything up. So there was a question, or rather a request from a subscriber who's also a big contributor to this channel. Even before I had a channel, he was just contributing to my shenanigans here on the island. He wanted to know what kind of tools I bring with me. And here's some of them. Well, most of them. I didn't bring as many tools this year as I normally do. But I have uh, at least one drill. I also bring my impact wrench, which is in there. Bring all my bits, screwdriver bits, uh, well, screwdriver bits, extensions, drill bits, more bits. Uh, bring all the sockets and screwdrivers that I can. Bring some fuel line. This is actually cut to size for my uh, fuel filter housing. Also bring my quick fuel disconnects. Got some dielectric grease, um, various types of Allens, some blades for my Sawzall, and bring some caulking, of course, in case I spring a leak or something. Um, bring all my ratcheting wrenches. These things are amazing, especially when you got to get in the tight spaces. light test and I broke my belt so now it's just a uh, makeshift filter wrench that I leave in here duct tape of course zip ties uh, tire patch kit you gotta have a tire patch kit got my axes of course double bladed axe got the manchetti got my tomahawk Got my other little Gerber axe, which is freaking slays. And I got one of the bros with me. 
this pulls out everything strapped down but they'll pull out these lay out and you can pull the cushions down for uh, an extra bed uh, there's that guy right there I think it's an 18 watt uh, solar panel yeah 18 water in the cab I have some more gear there's a three-ton jack some 15w40 engine oil I got some transmission fluid some Marvel mystery oil that I put in the fuel tank um, some power steering fluid some brake clean all my clothes that I wear for the trip just fits in one bag 155 liter here we got the dog food this is the dog bed was pretty much where they at least one of them hangs out it's my battery charger jumper dirty clothes and here's my backup camera I don't know if you can even see that well you won't really be able to see anything so I got my tarp in the way uh, you can snap photos put it in park mode loop mode, night mode, you can change the exposure all kinds of different settings on here but it's really nice to have because I've had this camper for about three years now I've never had a backup camera so for the first time ever I can see what the hell is behind me just put on those nerf bars pick those up for about 130 bucks swapped out my fast filters put on these sweet injector headlights Swapped out the halogens for some LEDs. Put on those blazer driving lights. Swapped those out for some nice projector LEDs. That should get super bright. Anywho, that's where we're at. That's what we've done. This is where we're at, physically. And uh, the rain is just sprinkling down on us right now. It's not too bad, so it's kind of nice. This road actually keeps going round down it gets really nasty but there'll be some good camping spots down there good hunting spots this road you can there's a bunch of spur off roads but it goes way way the hell up the mountain where we just would not be able to see anything right now because of we're all clouded in as you can see clouded in fogged in but it's a pretty sweet spot as well it gets way up there Overlooks some nice lakes and overlooks the, uh, you know, the southeastern part of the island. You can actually watch the IFA, the Inter-Island Ferry, uh, go right by towards Kassan and around Kassan to Hollis. And you also get amazing cell phone reception up there too. So a little bit of Kassan and a little bit of Hollis reception. Pretty nice. But anyways, that is the walk around video of Pig. I want to get to camping, set up, maybe make some food, have a couple of cold beverages, and just wait out the storm, because tomorrow is supposed to be super nice, and uh, we'll take you exploring some more around the island. Alright guys, thanks for staying around this long. As always, I will see you on the next one.